what's going on, my lovers and my lovers and me? How are you today? Oh my goodness. It's Saturday evening and I decided to do this talk early. Not that I decided, but Spirit decided that it needed to be done. I had looked at a post on Instagram in regards to the abuse of children and how abuse leads to lack of self-love in the hearts of children. And I can tell you, as a child who was never protected, it is the truth. And then you have to learn the hard way on how to love yourself. So I wanted to discuss a topic with you guys today in regards to loving and nurturing your children. I understand that you all have your own pain that you go through. You all go through your own suffering. We are all we have all been there. But the children are not the reason why we suffer. And we should not add suffering to our children. You understand? I truly believe in my heart and the heart of hearts from Divine's universe that the babies are our ancestors. And as our ancestors, they are also the light and the way showers of this world. So if you do not feed your child's heart with what it needs in order to win in this life, what do you think is going to happen to you? Karma's law will fall, will run amok in your life. You will starve your own soul by not giving your child what it needed when it came here to you. You had a spiritual obligation to protect the heart of your child. So if you allowed someone to harm your child, if you allowed anything to go wrong that you and you knew you could have been, been, you know, the force to prevent it and you did not and you didn't protect your child, then listen, You have to hold yourself accountable because let me tell you something, the universe most definitely will. Our children are innocent, they're angels, and they're beautiful, and they deserve love. No matter how much pain you've been in, no matter what you went through in your life, no matter how many lies you were told, your children deserve to receive love, light, and truth. They deserve to be free. You do not, you got to understand that, you know, yes, we do need to discipline our children and guide them right, but it doesn't mean that we control and dictate every move that they make because you want your children to know that they're free. One thing about me, lovers, I allow my children to be free. I allow them to speak their truth and I always let them know, as long as you tell mommy the truth, you will not be in trouble. But if you don't tell me how many the truth and you lie to me, then there will be repercussions for your actions. I've always been that driving force to do my best to teach my children right from wrong. I went through so many series of abuse as a child. You know, I was, I, I lost my innocence by the time I was about seven years old. You know, I had nothing but predators on my paternal side and my maternal, my mother, Because she had suffered so much abuse and she was broken, she didn't have the strength to pull herself up for me. And let me tell you something, lovers. When I had my children, I said I refused to be that mother. And it's not throwing my mother under the bus. It's just speaking truth. I love her. She's a beautiful person. She just went through a lot of pain in her life. And I, as a woman and as a divine feminine of goddess energy, I understand the journey that us women must take. That's why it is imperative for you to heal your heart, baby, so that your babies can live, so that they can reach for their goals and they can be the best thems that they came here to be. Because just like we came here to be our best selves, so did our children. But unfortunately, somewhere down the line, the generation curse wasn't broken when it came down to us and we caught the brunt. But let me tell you something, lovers. This bitch right here, I broke that generation curse. I wasn't about to hand that shit to my children. And I pray, lovers, that you do not hand that bullshit to your children. You give them what they deserve. Give them what they need so they can win and they can fly in this life. Because let me tell you something. What you feed will come back and feed you. And what you starve will starve you. So I pray that this all greet you with blessings, love, and light. I had to get this message out. Spirit would not let me rest until I got this message out. And I just want you to understand how important our children's heart was like my beautiful sister in heaven Whitney Houston says I believe the children are future teach them all and let them lead the way so when you know that your children are the future and you know that they're the ancestors you got to give them the light they need to succeed baby you are the light you are the way shower but you must first exhibit self-love to yourself 
I pray that this all greets you with blessings, love, and light. Y'all like my hair? I just washed it today, by the way. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just letting it dry and doing what it does, you know. You know, sometimes you got to just cleanse the spirit, all new everything, out with the old and in with the new, baby. So out with the old form of parenting and in with the new, baby. <laughs> know that I love you. Follow me on uh, Instagram at shugs, S-U-G-S dot love dot seven. I do a lot of snippets and wonderful quotes up there. So I pray that you all just get on board the love train. Share this message to anyone that you feel is in need. Because I'm telling you right now, love abuse should never be no more. Nothing but love, protection, guidance, and understanding. And long as we keep that within ourselves, we'll be able to give it to our children with compassion and love without minus the judgment. Because sometimes as we make mistakes, so do our children. Peace, lovers. I'll see you soon.